Everyone who is interested in litigation, who's interested in writing and strategy and problem solving, I think Ames is for them. It's just, it's such a good learning experience. You really push yourself. You get to work with a bunch of people you really respect who are really smart and passionate. It's a team environment, it's a team sport, and being able to have these really terribly clever people I get to work with and chat about interesting ideas with, it's just been one of the highlights of my law school experience. We are the Professor Lonnie Guineer Memorial Team. So Professor Lonnie Guineer was one of the most consequential voting rights litigators in the country. Her work and scholarship redefined our understanding of what a democracy is and what it means to live in one. As a lawyer for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, she won 31 of the 32 cases she argued there. She became the first woman of color to receive tenure at Harvard Law School, where her mentorship and dedication to her students inspired countless attorneys to fight for a fairer, better world. We were so, so thrilled. I remember FaceTiming the team immediately when I got the email to let them know that we had advanced. Um, and we were just like tearful, like just so joyous. Just to be able to have the opportunity to continue uh, to hone those skills and to you know, do this together as a team has been really incredible. We have literally gone through every line of our brief or every word of our brief, like one at a time, reading it out loud together, which takes a lot of time, but because we enjoy working with each other so much. It, has, it doesn't feel like an arduous task. It's particularly interesting to work on an issue that's actually something that's live and happening in the courts right now, um, and there aren't necessarily clear answers. The issue is about federal common law and interstate pollution. It's really complicated and underdetermined questions in federal law, and it's confusing, and it's cool to have the opportunity to take these complicated issues and try and package them in a way that makes them accessible. As the finals date approaches, uh, I'm getting more and more nervous, but also more and more excited. We'll have two of our oralists arguing in front of, you know, really important uh, jurists. Um, and knowing that our briefs will be read by them, it adds something a little bit like a big oomph and sort of motivates us and encourages us as well. At Harvard, this is one of the few opportunities that we have to really develop our oral advocacy skills. Um, and so, you know, the process, it just takes a lot of practice. So we get together in a tiny room and we just ask each other questions for hours on end. We have awesome oralists. Like those two advocates are two of the most like brilliant peers that I know. And I have so much confidence in them and I'm really excited to just see them do their thing and be amazing. Yeah.